the Innes Ferguson engagement party. Welcome everybody. Please. Right this way. <laughs> so as you come in, we have the driveway where people will be entering from. And this goes into a pavement area. This will not be here. <laughs> and we were going to put a six foot table here nice tablecloth on it of course and this is where we'd be serving the hors d'oeuvres from and we'd be having the cold drinks the beverages such as beer and wine on this table and maybe in some coolers underneath yeah store stored under appropriately yes yes and i was just gonna show you just to go in logical order that we have up here the stairs which we also have this area but we want to keep it somewhat open because that will be the door that people are coming in and out of. That's all. Just a quick mention. Okay, and this large area here is where we're going to actually set up our dining experience. Uh, we are going to have two eight-foot tables and white tablecloths. Haven't figured out what color of napkins we're going to have, but this should fit everyone. Yes, and so it will start from right almost where the pavement is and go right here. Yeah. all the way down. And if we've estimated it correctly, we can almost fit up to 18 people. Yeah. And you know how good our math is, so <laughs> we'll have to double check that. <laughs> so don't worry about it. <clears throat> this, obviously this table will be removed. And um, the barbecue that's in the corner right there, we're thinking of moving that so it's not in um, everyone's way and this is a clear space. But we're also dealing with some of these pillars to the side um, that we can use to jazz up for extra lighting if we'd like. Um, and we have up here, which we could set stuff on. There's a good gust of wind so we don't want anything too light. No. We're looking at moving the barbecue off the patio area. So we were going to move it back, probably closer to the fence. Then we were going to set up a green and white striped gazebo. Take those table and put it under here. And this is where we were going to serve dinner from. Mm -hmm. And we were discussing about renting from Royal Rentals. So Mama Dearest was thinking that she would get, um, what are they called? To keep the, to keep the food warm. Oh, I just, I don't know what they're called there. Like they're the servers silver. with a lid on it and they put <laughs> a little candle underneath. Like yeah. yeah. the buffet. Yeah. Like the buffet. For the buffet yeah. stuff. She was thinking so that someone's not cooking at all times. Yeah. But so it can be done in advance and kept hot. Yeah. And it would still stay fresh. Yeah. Um, please keep in mind when you're watching this video that most stuff will be removed. <laughs> it won't look as <laughs> junky. Yeah. And this over here is um, the black fire pit. And Cam had mentioned um, something that, the, that there's still a fire ban on given the heat and humidity. So that might, we're not sure if that would work, but if we did, it could be at the backyard, which is just a plain flat surface that we could have more privacy or privacy. Whichever. Yeah. So, um, oh, and these are the pretty plants that Cam's mom got. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which we're thinking of, or we're questioning where to put them right now. Um, other than that, I just wanted to give you a little introduction of what the place is going to look like and what we all have to work together. A la vista, baby. <laughs>